Hey guys, I'm Jonathan with Rev Free Moto, and um, first of all, I want to say welcome to the channel. I am um, my voice doesn't always sound like this. Uh, there's a lot of pollen today, uh, so I sound like I'm a little under the weather. But I wanted to say hello to everybody. Um, I'm going to make a quick video. Uh, the reason uh, is I've got a new set of Indy Ridge um, Crow, the Crow 4.0 motorcycle boots. Um, I bought them with my own money. I've received no uh, sponsorship or payment or anything like that to do a review of these boots, uh, but I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and initial quality check. Uh, first of, of all, I uh, wanted to tell you what I've been riding with for the past about probably five years. I think I got these in 2018 uh, from Revzilla, and these are... Um, speed and strength uh and the the model of the boots is bikes are in my blood boots motorcycle boots which is kind of funny but um the uh so you know this is not a review about these boots i just wanted to show you what i've been riding with for comparison so they are kind of a little bit of a similar style as the crow as far as they're all black these have the side zippers um on on each side of uh of the ankle so that's kind of nice um to get them on and off easily uh they are like a suede material uh, which is uh kind of hot but um it's held up as you can see they're in pretty good shape um the only con to this boot that i've really noticed is that uh the there's really no tread on these and they are an anti-slip sole but i'm telling you like it's great on uh, these are great on on pavement uh, as long as it's dry if it's not dry pavement if it's wet in any way these uh, these were awful so I had a few close calls um, almost slipping and falling with these planting that foot and uh, and almost falling over so that's just uh, just when it was wet out so uh, these also did not run true to size these were from Revzilla and they were great with customer service but um, these uh, I ordered them in my true size 11 and I'm telling you they look like clown shoes on me um, so I had to go with a size 9 to get them to foot, uh, fit my size 11 foot so um, I guess that's uh, that's pretty normal you know when boots are not made in the United States you know so hopefully these Indy Ridge will be true to size all right let's go ahead and uh, crack these open these came uh, shipped across the country from California to Virginia where I live and I've been waiting to they've been sitting uh, for a couple days uh, while I was finishing up my work rotation um, as I have anticipated make sure we clo close that blade up before I cut the ottoman all the pieces all right here we go Oh wow, so uh, that is the box, of course I'm not going to be able to do, I guess I can do it one handed. Get rid of that. And uh, I love this beautiful artwork, absolutely amazing. Um, I think that's one of the reasons that I really was uh attracted to these boots in the first place is they have such nice presentation and their company really goes the extra mile to uh you know present its product well and this artwork on here is just a small detail that uh, makes me appreciate the work they put into that it says on the side here the, uh, the art name is Roaring Grizzly by Rod Velarde. Velarde. All right, now inside, uh, well, first of all, I did not order this, so that's like a, a nice bonus. Um, this is a, I'm guessing, some sort of a face wrap. Very nice, and it's uh, it's light, light uh, cloth, 
So another reason that I was attracted to this company and uh, their products and their, you know, their philosophy is live free is is something that I say a lot um, just because of my past and my struggles with um, post-traumatic stress and um, addiction and things like that. And now that I live free sober for nine years this August, um, I uh, definitely promote that lifestyle. So I love that. Um, this is a very nice neck, neck gator or whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see what else we got here. I know you guys are like, get to the boots already. The live free guarantee. So that's uh, the, something that the company talks about. Um, and it, they stand by every product, not just the expensive stuff. It says, if you want the satisfaction of knowing your Indy Ridge gear is fully guaranteed, send an email with the words live free five. And then they give you 10% off of this card as well. Uh, I did get 10% off of these boots. I think they're $166. Uh, they, you can find a 10% off, uh, coupon pretty easily. Um, but, uh, they also get a discount to like first responders and military. So I emailed the uh, the owner, and he actually got back to me with my 10% off first responder discount. So that was nice. Um, again, some some literature about the company and uh, their guarantees. And now, finally, to the boots. It only took me six minutes into the video. All right. Well, first impressions are that they are... A little stiffer than on my other boots, right? As far as the leather, these are not a suede, uh, but they are they are very nice quality. They are I've I've worn a lot of boots. I have I've worn worn uh, like police boots and stuff like that for the past twenty plus years, and I've seen what the cheap leather looks like. Um, these are not cheap. These are these are very nice, very nice quality. All right, so no zippers on the side, which I kind of knew that when I looked at them on the website, but they have uh, reinforcement here. This is super, um, you can see a little bit of a, uh, you know, it's pushed out just a little bit there. Um, this is support for your ankle. You know, why, you know, when we, when you first go to the motorcycle class, when I went to that like 20, three 25 years ago or whenever it was um they said always cover your ankle and that's so you don't break it if you uh if you get in a crash and so this has a really firm ankle support which you're not going to find on a lot of uh boots and uh so that's really important uh making them you know kind of unique in the motorcycle world um we also have uh a uh, support back here heel support this is extremely firm as well um Flipping it back over to the other side, um, we have support on on this side as well. So you can you can actually see that where it's pushed out a little bit, and it's because it is whatever's in there is pronounced. Um, it is extremely extremely firm. So that should save you hopefully uh, from breaking your ankle in a crash. Again, a little bit more of their artwork. This is the Crow, uh, the Phoenix Boot Collection, but the the artwork itself. Uh, I believe, no, that's the Phoenix. I, I'm sorry. I act like I know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> just read the, what it says on the thing. So the Phoenix is uh, the collection. Um, the boots are the Crow 4.0. So there's a little bit of information about the artist on the back of there. So I appreciate that. Uh, Rod Villarde, if I'm saying that right. Sorry, Rod, if I'm not. Um, it says uh, they are waterproof. So that is very nice. And uh, I've heard that these boots are absolute. Like that is definitely true that they are waterproof. Then we have the uh, the the bottom of them. Um, the the sole uh, a lot more tread than my last boot. Still not a ton of tread, but I think that this is a very unique tread pattern. And so uh, I'm sure it's engineered that way for a reason. That's a nice touch with the script on the middle there. Um, but just a really nice feeling sole and overall the stitching, uh, the white stitching, I don't see where it's poking out any, there's no mistakes in the stitches. There's no 
loose thread in the stitching. I'm going to have to learn how to tie my boots so you can see this beautiful uh, Indy Ridge logo. Like a pair of old high tops from the 80s or something. But uh, then you've got... To my younger viewers, I apologize if you have no idea what, what that means. High top uh, from the 80s. But then you've got... Uh, here you've got uh, this nice um, boot strap. So help you to... It's a little tight, but... Um, help you to... I guess it'll... It'll probably break in over time. Help you to get them on. Doesn't look like you need a whole lot of help getting them on. Inside, uh, there's some paint. There's they've stuffed it with uh, paper, so I'm gonna have to pull that out. Uh, but that's to keep the form of the boot in shipping and transit. And uh, so that's a good sign. That's a good quality point as well as far as keeping maintaining the integrity of the boot even through in, into the. Uh, the shipping process it's not like we ship it and now it's your problem it's we're, we're owning this we're gonna make sure it's in nice condition all the way up until the point that that you get it so I appreciate that the laces um, are nice quality and uh, you know I know nobody really cares about the laces but I think that they're really important because uh, if they don't last long um, then laces you know then you got to replace them and um, that's never fun so, um, again, these were, I ordered these in a size 11 because they are supposed to be true to size, uh, 11 US. And so that's a 44 and a half in the European Union and a 10 in the UK. So probably take some more, um, uh, shots of these, you know, kind of next to the motorcycles, stuff like that, see what they look like. But um, we'll be doing um, some rides with these in the future and then at, at some point when I get some miles on them I'll do a long-term review um, We'll look at the other our other boot here. Of course, it's pretty much the same thing. This is the left boot, but uh, Just some more details here. You know, you have the waterproof um, Waterproof indicator here and Just overall very nice very nice and I, I really think that you know, while the price may seem high to some folks, I think they're $185 without any kind of discount code or anything. I mean, these boots are going to last. And uh, especially if you take care of the leather, um, they'll last and last. I think a lot of people that I've seen on other reviews haven't been doing anything to the leather and they still last and last. Um, but they absolutely are beautiful boots. Uh, they, they should go very nicely uh, with my motorcycle. Um, they also have lots of other styles uh, on the website. So if you are uh, interested in a pair of these, uh, make sure you go to um, IndyRidgeUSA.com or just Google Indy Ridge. I'll put a link in the description to the website and to these boots. Um, but... Uh, I think they're really good, and and really the st the owner uh, of the company, Steve, is is really cool. Um, when I sent he sent me my first responder discount, um, I told him that I was going to to do a, a review of them, and he told me like he told me specifically, uh, do not hold back. Like I didn't I didn't remember I didn't pay you anything. I didn't send these to you. Please make sure that you're truthful. And if there's something wrong with the boots, then just try to kind of be nice about it or at least let me know so I can fix them in the next batch. And so, uh, of course, until I wear them, I won't have, uh, you know, more to say. But um, I do think that uh, first impressions, these are an inc in incredible boot, incredibly nice, incredibly worth the money and probably worth a little bit more. But shh, don't tell anybody that because then they'll jack the price up. But uh, I really think they're really nice, and, and if you've been looking for a good quality pair of boots, um, these are definitely quality. They, they did not cheap out on these. I was curious to where they were made, um, and it says right here on the label, it says manufactured in Pakistan um, and designed in San Bar Bernardino. Uh, so designed in California and manufactured in Pakistan. Um, I've had some Pakistan products before. I'm not, I don't think that there's anything wrong with anything from Pakistan. So as you can tell, it really comes down to where they're made and what kind of standards of quality you're talking about. And uh, as you can see, just from, you know, from these, 
the, these first impressions. This is a very nice product. Uh, one last thing, the interior of the boot. I uh, forgot to talk about that. Very soft, very comfortable, pretty standard. Uh, I've seen these in a lot of my police boots as well. This material will hold up. So um, looking forward to trying these out and uh, I'll throw in some uh, photos uh, of them next to the motorcycle uh, at the end of the video. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your attention. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Referee Moto, please uh, go ahead and subscribe. Appreciate your subscription, and it helps me know that you appreciate all these cinematic uh, ride videos that I'm doing, and uh, just uh, so thankful for you. So, God bless, take care, we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, and this is just a quick look at the crow on the website, IndyRidgeUSA.com. As you can see, there's a few different colors that you can order in the crow specifically um, and the retail price is 185 dollars these are waterproof uh, they're beautiful boots you can uh, change change it up if you go to see all the different motorcycle boots they have you can see they have uh, several different styles the comanche the mohawk the apache all uh, for whatever your style is whatever uh, you would like and um they also have the uh, Wingman Shoe Collection, which uh, these boots are uh, ventilated. So just a little uh, brief look at the website. And they also sell uh, gloves. And maybe at, the, at some point I'll be looking at some of those as well. But IndyRidgeUSA.com To end this video off, we're going to do a couple quick shots of the boots uh, with the motorcycle. Um, so enjoy. As you can see, they are incredibly stylish. They look great with the bike. And they'll look great on your bike too. Uh, depending on what style you get, you may want to change the color up. But just absolutely, absolutely very nice motorcycle boots. All right, now I'm really signing off. See you guys later.